I like now. <laughs> so, 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 so. Um, I think I'm against the light or I don't have a light. I don't know yet. Wait a minute. Hold your horse and speak one. Let's figure this nonsense. I think I have to fix the lighting. There you go. Okay. Oh. Using high blay 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 blay. It's blay 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 blay. But that's what I want. You don't. You're, you know, the iPad or the tablet is telling me to do different. Telling me not to choose a brighter resolution. <laughs> blay 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 blay. When it's like, oh. Why do you, what do you know? What I'm, I'm, what I'm doing, you know? You see, it's better now. It's brighter. So, okay. Perfect. So, 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 let's do this again, people. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> so, it's me again, guys. It's me again, it's me again, it's me again, Miss Blazy Stoner, 777 people at your service, namaste, wait a minute, because I'm drying out, I just arrived from the post, shout out to my best friend, PDC Bags, so hashtag PDC Bags, shout out, I will, shout out, I will talk this to you later so i will show you the bags that i have from the pdc bags it's still here in my couch because we are helping um the best friend to promote her businesses very very legit and she have really amazing bags and this is some of the the last order from the last week I just want to show it again because I will keep it already because it's still here in my couch. They are displayed. So PDC bags. So yes, yes, yes. And I wear this today when I went to the post. So yes. Um, this She is a legit sell seller from Santa Mesa, Manila. So if you are from the Philippines and you are, you are into bags, fashionable, second hand, Label bags, they have a right wide range of purses, and um, this is the other one. So, if you are she's a live seller, so you can check her in my in my profile. I will hashtag you, and she does her live selling in Facebook. So, you just have to google her PDC Bags Santa Mesa. Manila. Very, very legit and that person is my best friend. This bag comes from the Philippines. Okay, I know, I know, I know but it is what it is. You know, it doesn't matter where my things came from as long as I want it. I support my friends. I support my friends' business and if I don't support my friends' businesses, why do I have these three bags? Imagine, I could have just buy some bags in the Switzerland. But of course, I do buy bags in the Switzerland. And talking about bags in the Switzerland, I really like this. I cannot wait to wear this. Maybe I am going to wear this in the Monday. I have another appointment in Monday. But maybe this one. I know it's really nice, right? Together with this one. I'm so posh. But maybe not. I don't know. Or, look at it. Uh -uh. And she have another owl bag again. You know, she was showing it to me earlier. But I don't know if I want to have more owls. You know, there are a lot of bags. But, um, the Chanel, I'm getting that. I really like the Chanel bag. And, wait a minute because I just put my bags here in my couch it's kind of become a part of my decoration this is also new this is Calvin Klein I'm so badass look at me with my baggy with my boots look at it I am a full, full, full metal alchemist today 
don't 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 yes check it out so anyhow enough for being show off so 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 um i want to open another box today but this box is from a friend of mine i will not say who he remains to be oh shit so Yes, I can also do, I have my, my body cam now, it is working, I have used it, I wanted to bring it today when I was going, when I was going to, I was supposedly going to use this, you know, but I will use it when I go skateboarding, so this is already done, I can even use it now, I just don't feel like doing a, Let's just keep it here for a minute. Too much gadgets. If I am going to wire my house, meaning to say, if I said my house is wired, I'm going to have, uh, what do you call this? I'm going to have uh, uh, a cat in my house. So when I go out, don't ever think that there is no... <laughs> surveillance camera because I am already wait a minute I am having technical difficulties wait I am not center hi hi there wait let me check am I center now bullshit and hi so let me see. I'm a little bit tired today. Well, really not much, but I I wake up at like eight in the morning. I I don't understand where the time went because actually I make alarm seven. I change it into eight. I stand up by eight. So by nine. So normally I catch the train by nine. 50 so I changed I left by 920 I don't remember what happened today <laughs> I'm confused so hello there people um popson grade I think is here um hi <laughs> I don't see it's very far and wait a minute I just have to sip my coffee and I have some boxes here that I have to open this is um well this is ours you owe me 36 dollars I think because there is a tax, I will not say who, who, but actually this belongs to us. This is not my personal thing. So you owe me thirty-seven dollars because there is a tax when this arrives. It is taxed. So, but wait a minute. I have to. I have also to take out my shoes because it's heavy and I'm already home. So I need something. I have to vacuum as well, Mamma Mia. Why do I have a lot of things to do and so little time? Every time I finish with something, I have to do another thing and another thing. It seems like it's a never-ending thing. And I was crying earlier, but then <laughs> I ran out of battery. <laughs> well, I didn't. I was actually listening to some music last night and I forgot that I needed my tablet for today so I kind of fall asleep. So, wait. Coffee first. Bone. Joint. Somebody messaged me. I have it ready yet. Hello, Damien. Oh, yo, boy. Namaste, man. We get.
Hello, 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 Rafi. We did. <laughs> How are you doing, man? <laughs> I don't look good today, I think, because I am a little bit tired. Not a little bit, like a lot. So, wait a minute. I have to do something. I have to vacuum man. I cannot not vacuum. I am going to be pissed. I normally vacuum a day, every day, and I am. So far, this one that are calling and texting and bullshit. Yeah. What do you want from me? Also, let let it let let the box the unboxing begin. But before that, fire in the holy first, and I have to take out my shoes and change into something comfortable first because this is just too heavy for me. Blair. I have been strutting on my break in. I have break in my boots because I'm trying if I can walk with it, and so far I can. I have one boots, okay? It's from Demonia, but I think it's a little bit. I don't know. I tried. I buy a lot of leather softener just to expand the leather, and it cost the shoes cost four hundred euros. It was a gift from my my slave before 10 years ago the one that was also in facebook um so it hurts like shit you know i couldn't walk with it but it's really heavy and it's really cool and i only wear it three times and every time i wear it it's just maybe i think it was a small i don't know but normally it just kills my feet this one is not so expensive this is like a hundred bucks, but I can walk. I'm still alive. I want to take it away now. I'm at home now. Take it away now. You love your boots too much. You don't take it away. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> that was my best friend used to tell me. You know, way back home. Every time I have something new. And that's the thing, I don't really take out my shoes unless I am like retiring because you know, I'm always ready, on, I'm always on the go. So my best friend, he would, she would say to me, you love your shoes too much, you don't take it out anymore. <laughs> uh, she's funny. Yeah, we've been friends for 20 years, so basically she can say a lot and I don't react. I just let it go. <laughs> That's what friends for. You can say anything and they don't get mad, you know. And when they say to you something, you support them, regardless how stupid it may sound. Because sometimes they are just joking, you know. It doesn't mean really that they're going to do it. They're just joking. Let, let the bad situation become a joke and let's laugh at it. Don't take everything I say seriously and now we blow off. Because normally that's what's happening in my world right now. Every time I say something, it's like I feel like I'm attacked. It feels like I cannot do anything correct. And it's getting, I'm getting tired of this because what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to be right. I'm just trying to be correct. I'm just trying to do the right thing. And every time I try, it feels like anything I do is not good enough. So it's like fuck off. If you're going me a negative, if you're giving me a negative energy, you better not talk to me. I will not talk to you. She was consoling me. She said, "Don't be worried. I'll be back. I'll be back. Go 
Don't make me feel like I'm a failure all the time. You know, even though I am not. And the evidence, and it shows, you know. I don't know, I don't understand sometimes why are some people so negative. Because like, if you're going to give me this bullshit, I don't need this shit. I want a person who will support me regardless of what, how, how crazy it may sound. Because sometimes, it's just blowing off steam. Blowing off steam. You, if you are not stupid, sometimes blowing off steam means just blowing off steam. The steam must go out. The pressure has to go out. So sometimes you say things, and it's just meant to be like a joke. It's like, okay, somebody poke you, and then the, 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 my reaction is, Make a joke out of it and let's laugh a bit. And regardless how radical I may sound, I am just joking. Let's fuck him up. Let's laugh about him. But the thing is, you take it too seriously and you burst my bubble. And it was just meant as a joke. I haven't even begun yet. You know, this is just for us to like laugh at the person. You know, don't take everything too serious because if I take everything too seriously, it would be devastation. Sometimes, even if the situations are serious and I don't want to, to just ignite over it, I have to be in control and think about my steps, what I am going to do. And when I get irritated, you are my friend. And my friends, they know me. I say things that I am comfortable of telling you because you are my friend. And my friend knows me. She's just joking. She's annoyed. You know, but nevertheless, she will come down. And this is just for fun. She's just making a little bit of, you know me, I'm like a monologuer. And sometimes I just make, I say things for the sake of saying things to my friends. I don't hold my punches. And sometimes, I'm just wanting you to just laugh out, laugh at it. Don't take it too seriously. I'm not really going to fucking, fucking, fucking fuck his nuts. It was just a figure of speech. Meaning, it's a figure of speech. No harm done. Sometimes people say, say shit, say words, just because they don't really... It releases the steam. It releases the whatever it is that it's creating inside them so they they talk to their friends and they say something but it's just a joke it's not really it was i wasn't it was not meant i didn't even say something that yet i was i was beginning to but then sometimes you just took some you took it so i'm talking to one this specific person you know and you we used to love of things together and why are you taking to these things too, too, too overly serious? It's like you are taking it out of context, man. And this is what I'm, I'm getting tired. You have to understand that when I say something, a friend is a friend. I, w I have given this example before. I say this. Regardless if my friend is right, my friend is wrong, I stand by my friend. You know, regardless if she's correct, she's wrong, he's wrong, we'll talk about it later, calm down, you know, don't, don't, you know, sometimes it is what being a friend is for. Sometimes your friend is, can make mistakes, nobody's perfect, but the thing is, some friends, they are not even making mistakes yet, they are just, come on, man. And it's nice that when, it's nice that, it stop being so negative. It stop making me feel like it's my fault all the time. You make me feel like, and that I don't like. It's like you make me feel like I cannot do anything correct when all that I'm trying to do is trying to correct the mistakes that I have done and to correct whatever it is. And then you do believe in me for crying out loud, man. Just believe in me. Otherwise, you know, I'm... I am trying to just stay away from you for a little bit now because it's irritating. It happens weekly. I don't deal with shit to, you know, you have to learn. You are not young. Learn how to connect with me in a mental level, meaning to say intellectual level. Connect 
Sometimes I uh, it bumps me out when the person is just so fucking stupid. I mean, I I can take a little bit of stupidity because as I say sometimes I can be a little bit stupid. I'm I'm I may not know everything, but you know, if just in case you know something I don't know, can you please point me to the right, right direction? Can you please tell me? You know, I always say this, can you please correct my mistake, you know, whatever it is, I would, I would gladly be corrected, but if you, you know, the thing is, I don't accept advices pretty much because I have also a brain over my shoulder, a head, which is very, very functional, I don't have problem using my, my head, my brains, you know, I probably sometimes a little bit ask my friend too much in figuring things for me because I just have too much in my plate, I am very, very demanding, which come to my friends, you know, because I also give time to my friends, and sometimes when I need, I don't have problem saying that, hey, can you please help me a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit tight in, in time, I don't, I, sometimes it is what it is, you know, you, you have to, I have problems asking, not really that, but you know, a little bit of help, I don't have problem asking a little bit, but not too much, you know, because I'm not that kind of person who is also, you know, if it's just too much and I don't want to put the burden on you, but if it's just a little bit and I don't, and I think you can do it, then, you know, I, I always weigh in the favors that I ask. You know, because we have problems asking favors with other people because they also have their own shit going on and, you know, sometimes I don't want to be a burden to my friends, but sometimes in the reality of the situation, Blaze, friends are there not only for the good times, but also in times of need, you know, because if you're, if that friend is only there for you for, in, in the, with the good times and in times of need, it's like... I'm not available, you know, and then he is not a real friend, so let 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 go of that for people. You don't need them in your life. They are called the leeches of the society, you know, trying to own, to connect to where they can leech off, they can smooch off. This is a really pretty girl, the announcer in the CNN, when both of them are pretty, the left and the right. Wait a minute, but this one, she have a twinkling eyes and a blue eyes and a nice nose and a black hair. I don't know her name yet. I know her name, both of them, I just don't remember now. I am so mesmerized by her. She is like, <laughs> I get distracted. I keep on looking at her. Her, her, her aura keeps on, is magnetizing me. She's so pretty. She's young, I think, maybe 30, early 30s. And the other one is early 40s, more or less. Blonde and the black. So what are they talking about? The drivers, the exports, Biden wants to raise capital gains. Uh, they're talking about economics. <coughs> I like the other girl again. But I like it too. Don't be jealous. I met a new friend today. Hello, Marianne. I have a new... um post driver her name is marian i'm a little bit shy to video her because it was our first meeting let her be at ease first with my camera because she works in the bureau you know meaning if you work in the bureau most people don't really see you much if you work in the bureau for the transportation meaning you might be probably a dispatcher or works in the office who makes this and that and typing skills and it was not she's not really a bus driver but she drives and <coughs> Today, she, she needed to work for someone. I think there was no driver to drive for for me. Not for me, I'm just eating. But she, I like her. She's the girlfriend of Pabia. You have to get married now, both of you. I think they are a good match. I think they are a good pair. Mm. You know. Marrying age. I, I I get too personal, you know. It's not your it's not your business blades, the relationship of other people. But the thing is, I like I like happy endings, even though there is no such thing really as a happy ending. I like it when the relationship of the people I know is is like Pen and his her husband. 
the mother of pen and daddy of pen. You know, mom and dad. I call them mom and dad because <laughs> I wish I have what. You know, sometimes I just wish that I have my own family. Not my own family like a child and a husband, but a family from where it started, like a grandmother. I have, but they are not here anymore with us. So, so. but I like to kiss my cat first. Because I miss you. We we'll just paid the bill. Mommy didn't pay your bill, so they wanted me to pay it now. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> oh my! Because when it's inside the something drawer or inside the folder, it can be. Ah, I'm not good in bureau works, in office work. Seriously, I have my office here. And if I show you what's happening in my office, Pen, help me. <laughs> I love my best friend. I miss talking to her. But, yes, I love, I, I don't know. So wait, someone texted me again and I haven't read it. What is he saying now? Look at him. He wants his talking boy get brush brush. My husband and all the Nahala crew members who are there can reunite with family. Until now, there has been no official news. Can you? So, open. He messaged me. What is he saying now? To pray for a smooth search and rescue operation. I will message her with a new Thank you. How do you message this one? I'm live now on Instagram. So what are you doing? Are you live or whatnot? I like the t-shirt, the dress t-shirt of yours that you were wearing in one of your lives. I think it was earlier. The Muccino. That was cute. So what's happening now? Hit me up. So that was my Penelope. And the, I have one person who's talking with me in the world. On Thursday, he and other leaders promised to reduce carbon emissions over the next few years. Who was that? Well, I don't see that message. On first move, keeping an eye on AI. Like it seems like somebody did message me. Ah, okay, it was my. I will not say. Shout out to my other brother, you know. Yeah, I was talking about my brother earlier, but I got cut off. So the story will continue again. Because I want to pay tribute to my beloved brother, Manu Julian. I really, really love you. And to my mother, um, Nanay, Mother Cecilia. That's the name of my mom, Cecilia Chavez. Um, um, yes, they, I have been thinking about my family, you know, because I, I never did actually, you know, I have to move on because it has, it has to be like that in my life, you know, there are things that, that happen, happens that you cannot do anything about it, what can you do? But survive, right? Stay alive. <laughs> so, so you owe me thirty-seven francs <laughs> because I owe oh, oh, I owe this money from Scully, and Scully is not so happy about it. You know, Scully is not a very generous being. So wait a minute. Maybe I do it here. Da -da -da -da. Because we have to check if the bottles are not leaked. Because the last time they sent me, it has two leaky bottles. So I will hashtag these two poppers. Pong say ha. Yes. Yes. I like it. 
So, this is what is the content of the box. It has supposed to have 11 items in here. Or 14. So, let us check if they are... I think... Something is wrong. What have I been doing? So how many? Why are... Why I do have global orders? I don't understand. So, I have to check. So, let us... Because I am seeing double orders yeah. here, you see. Daddy. Or maybe I am wrong. Dad. King. Oink. What's market next? What's market? So I'm trying to check my default comfortable compact. What is this? in your order have a fabulous day. You know, we must understand uh, what is happening now is just enormous and there's a huge surge. And you know, there are many factors which have contributed to the surge. Order some information. And some ah, it's a tracking number. And even the anticipated ones where the government put in measures, we did not see, no one saw the extent of the surge. So we must see that the volume of cases has just gone out, as you said, several hundred thousands a day, with 11 days doubling, and this requires intense action, which is being put in place. Ah. It requires, it requires a oh, here, here. Is the government So, ah, okay. Ah, okay. Let's check my orders. It's small. Nirvana solid is small. I need to check it because I never seen what it is. This. I haven't seen this before. Oh shit! I can smell them already, man. They smell very, very strong. I was already boom. <laughs> what the fuck? So, Nirvana. Solid. This is the solid P. You can get this at Popper's Pong, say, huh? 
this is not my favorite but this is new products they are selling this this is the small version this is 10 euro something and this is something more expensive so that is check 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 i don't use this much sometimes <laughs> it makes me <laughs> but these are good for gay people like gay gay they would love it this product is good for them Wait. and rush big check amsterdam check that strong one check this is that strong so we have to check if there is leak there is no leaking leak leak that's me that so you have to put it in your freezer and you have to really check it and you have to always stand it up you cannot put it lying down otherwise probably it's a problem the chemicals are very very strong so these are the red devils this is me the black devil so i have this this is what is inside but we have to check everything if it is not leaking well so far it is in perfect or no yeah close it it has to go in the fridge in the freezer but without the box more or less keep the box because the box this is my collection this is the red one so i have a lot of this already so you see it's a skull so the box or maybe put it first there. I, I will do it later. I don't have time now. Where's the other box? So we have three of these. Now they have mutations which both increase and potentially skull, black skull, one change. Red Devil check. So one king. This one is this one is new product. This I really wanted to try. Wait, I have to open it. Mama mia. Where's my other accessories? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> It's very strong. It's leaking. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my. So, no leakage. Everything is in good condition. This is radical. This is the new item. I hadn't had this before. And this is the Amsterdam Revolution. So, wow. I am already high. Boo. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um. <laughs> when I opened the plastic, <laughs> I don't want to say my daddy only know what happened to me when I smell this. You have to smell it. <laughs> when I opened the plastic, I smell, I smell everything. So I'm like, boh, I'm already high. So give me one minute. <laughs> Uh, it's only three minutes, one, two, one, two minutes to three minutes, and then you have to smell it again. But now I am. Yes, I think this one is good product. I am already loving it. So I will make a photo of it now. So let's just put it there first. So check the leakage. Yeah, they are still intact. I don't know what is this. Ah, uh, it has to. Uh -huh. So. Hmm. That is revolution. Take the revolution is seventeen euro. The radical thirty ml is seventeen. Actually, it's sixteen ninety. I just round it up. Sixteen ninety euro. So the black is skull is six sixteen ninety as well. Mm -hmm. And yes, the the the, the red devil is also sixteen ninety. 
Then the vinyl solid is small, is 10 euro. The and they have packs. So the pack is like this. The pack contains three bottles. And normally one bottle is example king. This is the king. So one bottle of this is how many euro? King is ten ninety euros. So check. Uh, so I have oink. I like the oink. Oink oink. After you receive your poppers, you have to put it in the freezer. If you have, you know, otherwise it will it will disintegrate. So this is the oink. Oink oink. This is, this is me. <laughs> oink oink, little piggy. Miss Piggy. So yes, this oink is... So how many bottles do I have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, correct. Yeah, because they owe me two bottles, so the delivery was okay, so I have to message them that I promoted their product i will send them the link and i will say that thank you very much for a very good packaging of my orders because the last time that they sent my order it was two bottles leaking i don't like people why would i say it leaked when it didn't leak but it leaked but now you see i open it in front of you no leakage whatsoever wait i have to check because i didn't control everything Oh, this one leaked or not? So they have balls. No, it didn't leak. So these balls you have to put it inside and twing it, twing it, twing. So you really have to be careful with this. They can also burn your skin. So um, okay, how to use it? Before you use it, you have to put oil or something like what do you call this? And um, uh, wait, this guy is taking my mind out. You have to put uh, you know this, this here. You have to put oil or this something like a cream that is really really thick so that your you wouldn't have burnt skin so the, the the thing is this is the old school thing that i will not say who that we used to use this is the old the old school way you do it like this and like that so but the thing is i am teaching you how because basically i am i'm this is I don't know if it's legal in the Switzerland, but they can only send it like 10 pieces. So if it's, if they can ship it, it's more like it's legal, but there are like limited amount that you can buy. So, but what I am trying to teach you is how to use this that you don't get burned your skin. Because this is really, really, I like it, but not much. <laughs> this is, I use it once in a blue moon, but this belongs to us. I you know, not basically mine, but of course. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's not say mine. I use it, but it's not my thing. But I use it, okay? But what I am trying to put, petroleum jelly. The best way to use this, because this one, I don't know yet how to use it. I haven't opened it yet. I don't want to open it yet. Because as I've told you, part of this is mine. Not really, it's not mine. <laughs> but yes, a little bit mine, but not all. <laughs> no, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. But we use it, it's ours. More or less, I think it's ours. But not mine alone, it's ours. I am just the sole keeper of this. It's not mine, I cannot take credit for this because this is really not mine it's ours ours meaning 
both of us owns this. But partly, I only <laughs> am the sole caretaker of this. You know? And this is the one that I like. The solid. It's like a wax. I have not opened it. I wanted to try it, but I cannot now. And I'm super, super excited. I think he will be excited too. But as of now, I am a little bit upset with him. I have been upset all the time now. And I don't like it when I get upset. So, I kind of distance myself so that we don't have much problems, you know. Because until you realize to learn and respect that you cannot teach me how to feel, you cannot, you cannot teach me how to act, I am not a young person, I am an old woman for crying out loud, you know, I'm not young anymore, I already stand on my two feet for crying out loud, stop telling me what to do and what I cannot do and can do, just believe in me for, for, for my Lord's sake. Please, you know, I am not trying to intimidate or antagonize anyone. I am just trying to fight for what is right. And please, believe in me. You know, that is all I ask. Believe in me. You know, it's getting tiring, this shit. But I'm happy. I'm happy for him. But you owe me $37. I am really happy because I think he will be very, very happy. Because I know what this means to us. And I hate it when we are fighting. I really hate it. It kills me inside, you know, like, it's not really a big deal. I don't even know why it, it was, like, I snap again. Because of you. And the thing is, don't put the phone down when we are talking. First and foremost, you are the one who called me. You call me, ring ring, I answered. Don't walk out on that door without saying goodbye and never fucking put the telephone down when you are talking to me. I hate that. I don't do this shit. This is for me kindergarten because I used to be the person who puts the phone down and trust me. Those times when you talk landline and you just, I always tell you how many landline did I broke or did I slam. I know, giving me a dose of my own medicine, well, that doesn't work for me because the thing is, I have learned I don't want to do this again, the things that I used to be doing. That was the reason my relationship probably didn't work because I was so childish. And you are acting like me and I was like acting, now I am acting like you and you are acting like me. What is the fuck is your problem? I mean... You know, I see you as a mentor. I see you as a role model. But when you do things that is like kindergarten, and this is the things that, that's probably why I am, you know, I said this to you before, I am not that same person I used to be. Now I'm a little bit more of a childish. Like, fuck, fuck, oh. But then when <laughs> it was done to me, I, I, I got hung up. Why did you fucking hang up on me? That doesn't work well. Fuck off, man. Don't hang up on me. Don't walk out that door without saying goodbye. These are the things I cannot. Fuck. Talk to me like, okay. Just don't hang up on me. And I hate that. You know? Like, fuck, man. So, you wanted this? Because I wouldn't do this to you. Don't run. Don't stand up. You know? Have the balls to stick, stay, fix it before it bl blow out, blow out. Because you see, it is a simple problem, and it just exploded because you hang up on me. And the thing is, you were the one who was very, very negative. I was like asking what day, so day, what time it is, because I have a appointment, and I um, I just wake up, and I am read reading some brief, some letters, and. I have to jot it down here in my appointment book. And then, yeah, it was a different signal communication bullshit. So, and now, we are not in, I, I don't want to talk. You know, that's the thing. When I, when I shut down, I shut down. I just don't want to talk. Well, just go away. And the thing is, I can shut down pretty long. <laughs> You know, it's like too much stress. I don't want you. I don't want the air you breathe for now. It's like I, I, 
the, 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 the feelings are there. It's not that. But when I <laughs> pissed and annoyed, I'm pissed and annoyed, and that's the thing. I never, you know, I can. You already know how how when I get angry, I can get angry for years. I don't, you know, and you just have to like. It's, I told you even how to handle me, but still you wanted to handle it your own way, and it doesn't work. You know, it doesn't work. Either you you yield, you have to yield. There's no way. It's like I'm not going to yield. No, fuck man. No, no, no. I would rather keep my legs clo cl 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 closed. <laughs> Then yield. Fuck, I can play with myself better than anyone else. Trust me, I have a lot of fantasies that would last me for years. Ah. And I know because I have been doing me for three days and it was great. Trust me, it was like, ah. I don't lie, you know. <laughs> and that fantasy just keeps on. I, it was not even that. You know, sometimes the it's very, very real to me. So wait a minute. Everything is in order. Thank you very much, Papa Sponseha. Um, I will tag this to you so that you see that all the orders were they come in great, in great condition. No leak whatsoever. Perfect. You done a good job of packaging this time. I check mostly everything, mostly, but not all. So sometimes I get carried away talking. So every everything is is good. So I will photography it and in tag it to you, hashtag it to you that I am a sub huge supporter. Not me actually, my I cannot say, but I am a huge supporter of your product. Well, for 10 years now, I, the first time I never know what this shit is before. Like, what the fuck is a buffer? I was even scared to even use it. But then, you know, I talked to this. And, but, that's the thing. I don't use too much of nonsense because it's, I like it, but not all the time. It makes... Okay, side effects. I do get headache a little bit. You know, but it is everything as a side effect. You know, sometimes it's not so much. But the effect is just very, very amazing. Some people can take it. They don't have headaches or whatsoever. But me, I do have. I have migraines with this shit. So, you have to... But some people, they, they work great. Even with me before, I can take it, but I don't know what happened. Um, I like it, but that is the thing. I know what is wrong with me and this. That's the reason I can take it much. But I love it. I love it. It makes me so fucking horny as fuck, man. I mean, ah, oh, that is... Well, I mean, <coughs> I always say, I don't know what he's talking about. So, as I always say, please don't do things that I wouldn't do. Meaning, if you're going to do something, just do it in total moderation, please. You know, it's not say that don't enjoy life. It's not, I, I don't mean that we dull or I don't mean that we are rascal, you know, because everything that is man, it, that is overdone will kill you. Sorry, people, I didn't saw that you were there. <laughs> I was, <laughs> it's just that it's just too small in my peripheral view, I cannot see it. So what I'm trying to say is don't do things that I wouldn't do. Or if you're going to do some things like drinking, please do it in total moderation. Because everything that is overdone 
could hit you, could cost you your life. It's just eating meat, for instance. You know, you eat a lot of meat, you get high cholesterol, you get high blood, you get hypertension, you get high blood pressure, you get fat, you... Too much sickness when, it, when you overdo things, like too much fatty foods, and I don't know what is the medical terms of this sickness because it's what you eat is who you are. So meaning, if you're going to be sick with this and this and this, it's just because of the animals and whatever it is that you've been putting inside your body. That's what I have learned. <laughs> and uh, we know this with all the bird flu, the bat, the flu, 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 and the whatever it is. You know, sometimes these animals, they are, most of them are breed for consumption and some of them are questionable where they came from so you really have to be i didn't think about this before because i came from a third world country that anything that is moving you can eat and i didn't know that and look i'm disgusted i'm sorry but i want to puke now i have a different vision in my head and i want to delete it delete 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 i mean why is the world so chaotic and so go it's so nasty. It's so gross. No. <laughs> Is this how poor other people can be? That they have really, really nothing to eat? Oh, it's just, ow. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's ew and it's ow. I don't have words to describe what is in my head now. The visions that are coming are so unrealistic that I don't even want to believe it, even if I see it firsthand. Even if I have to question the legality of some things that are laid in front of me, I'm like, what? Is this real? You know, how can you be so stupid? I'm not stupid. I didn't think it about it that way. I didn't even, you know, the things that comes into my head is like, is that even real? Even if I'm seeing it in front of me, I don't believe that it's happening. And then they would say to me, how can you not believe it? It's already happening in front of you. It's actually out currently happening in front of you how can you not believe what you see i cannot still believe what i see it's just too far-fetched too far blown up and but please come on now what do you think the world is all about i really don't know i just wake up four years ago let's just put it that way i don't really know much about what is but I know that it is a complicated world, that everything is not what it looks like, and what it looks like is not everything what you see. It probably you have to paint a bigger picture, or just stretch your imagination, whatever it is. I don't want to stretch my imagination more than it's already been stretched, because if I stretch this too far, I freak out. It freaks the hell out of me, you know. I don't believe that it's like really what it's hard. It's even hard to comprehend, it's hard to swallow. Not all people are fortunate and most people are really not. Support their own livelihood and really feel empowered to take that next step in their lives. You know, some people are very, very fortunate and some people are it's sad let's just put it that way that a lot of people could have learned could have experienced this and that or maybe more or even have the opportunity or been fortunate enough to even taste a taste of something different of something so so posh and expensive and luxurious and go to places that only some other, not all people can go. And most of the people don't know how it feels like or how it's like to have been experienced, those very good experiences that some people are currently doing right now or they are just gallivanting in the, in the good side of the world. Let's just put it that way. And some people will never even see a glimpse of that world look like let alone even jump on a plane. I mean, ride on a plane or board in a plane. How What is the right? Board in a plane, yeah. You haven't even boarded a plane or even ride a ship or even ride a good train or even ride a taxi or a car or even went to a big city or even drink the most expensive wine in the world. I have. I guess... 
I'm not bragging about it. I guess I am just one of the fortunate ones that even though I don't, I am not from that side of the world, I did got to experience most of my life doing that part of the world what they do. And I, of course, I will not deny that I also did experience the other side of the world. And it's, it's heavy. It takes a lot of the person who sees both sides of the coin and stay center. And it's difficult to try to even comprehend for one second how would this and this individual is just the same. If you if you put them naked, you know, from their, this and that, if you, nothing at all, they look the same. The, okay, a poor person that is white and a rich person that is rich, put them naked, they have nice skin. They're equally beautiful in their own way. Let's find these two kinds of individuals. But, the other is very, very intellectual, very, very educated. Have everything that the world can offer. And this one, pretty, no, but it's basically empty. In this, this girl, if she doesn't work her ass off, she would not experience what this life is. You, you see what I'm saying? And it's sad. You know? But that is life, they say. Not all people are blessed. But I cannot always be. I mean, but what can I do? Even my life is not. I'm still even figuring my life till now, you know. But that is the reality. This is what the world we live in. It's not equal rights. No, don't even think of that. That your right is as equal as this one. <laughs> you wish? These laws, they are meant for us, not for them. Only for us, so that we cannot hurt, hurt them, touch them, or, you know, see? We are just their commodities, their, the workers, as you say, like the, the queen and they have workers and whatnot. So, you people, you have to check which part of the world you live in. Who are you? And just answer your question and, you know, if you want to ask your who your God is, what is happening to your life, then maybe that answers your question. Which country you live in? And so and so and <laughs> stretch your imagination, so to speak. I'm still figuring it out though, even though I'm shocked as fuck. There is no easy words to describe or explain what I see. And what I see is not so good. <laughs> it's hard to imagine, it's hard to swallow, it's even harder to comprehend that this is really happening. Wow. Where have I been? <laughs> Did you just come out from the egg chain, darling? <laughs> How can you be so naivete? <laughs> Naive. I mean, I... Uh, <laughs> that's why I, I'm always looking for a great mentor to mentor me. But until now, it's just too much to learn. And too much to see and too much to comprehend. The message. same opportunity for others that was the goal for her she that was her motivation her intention it was a good thing you know sharing uh, some your blessings to the world 
Not only me, 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 me. How can I get rich and rich? What? How much do you need? How much money do you need? And you're not even sharing. You're just keeping it and keeping it. It's like a fucking gazillion money already. I don't know how much gazillion money looks like. But how much money do, does a person really need? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a gazillion nonsense. My crap. What is that? In the UAE, launching its first fully independent and like this brand. Heard it. As Karius explores in today's Think Big. I have a crush on the CNN girl. Ah, what is that? The, the big idea is it could be a disruptor. Digital banking is oh. new. It can challenge the. Uh, homegrown players that have been in digital bank i was just talking about this to mario they said earlier that you know the the the, um, the currency the money the, the paper money paper money it should be phased out it should be digital currency and whatnot to preserve mother earth you know save the world save earth save the planet Exactly, we live in a digital life already, so you know there are things that that is the reason there is a word word in the dictionary that is face out. We should face out the old things that just to to preserve Mother Earth. If we keep on cutting this, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just trying to help solve the problem, even but then they can do more. They are more inventions and intellectual but why is our technology is breaking this world into pieces I mean, we can save the planet right we are too intellectual or intelligent to do so but instead what we are doing is how much is it to create a world it probably must be too very very expensive no um, this, is, uh, this guy is an uh, 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 Arabian man. He has a uh, white dress, very, very white. And okay. I think he is a tycoon of something from the kingdom of the of the oil. A businessman. So he is a bank man, a money man. He said he is better than a human mind. I, I, I agree with you, man. Yes, yes, yes. Independent digital bank is the way to go, I think. <coughs> It's like money that you work for, you don't see. <coughs> the world is so funny. So, what else do I have to do? Because I'm nearly done here. Becky Anderson, there you go. I told you I know her. Yeah, she is the prettiest woman in CNN. I love her smile, I love her teeth, I love her nose, I love her twinkling eyes, her hair, she's so pretty. I have a girl crush on Becky Anderson. I have to follow her on Twitter, but I think I'm already following her. But I will follow her everywhere. I will be her, um, what is this? Groupie. <laughs> Not stalker, it doesn't sound well. Groupie. I'm just gonna be her groupie. Oh, uh, yes. So, um, <laughs> when I like a person, I'm like a huge fan. I'm like, oh, I'm starstruck. <laughs> I, I don't know. Especially with these people that I like how the way they talk, how the way they present themselves, how the way they think, you know, they are very, very strong in their opinions and they, they share very, their, their good mod, role models to the young generations, you know, I like it like that. You know, if I see this kind of people they with their good energy, it makes me feel nice. It makes me feel like I want to be a nice person. You know, when they are not when the people are not irritating me and making me angry, it's just like I want to share I want the love to spread the love to the world. You know? That's why I only wanted to be surrounded with positive energy people that are not po 
provoking me and not irritating me and making me angry, you know. I'm looking at the camera now. Yeah, I think I have. Yes, I know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think ever since I was a child, I am kind of like been around with technology. Like I have my own television, everything, you know, in the house was basically was mine to use. Because I was the, the young of the family and it's a long story. But my best friend friend is the first person I ever told about this story. <laughs> you know. Some way, one way or the other, you have to just present yourself the way you really, who you are, you know, without, without the mask, unmask yourself, and let's just see where it goes. You know, maybe you will be answering those, what is this, Un unclosed chapter of your life, you know, these hidden files that are just cold files, you know, let's say it that way, you know, there are still things that you have to, so wait a minute, I'm actually also learning how to trade in the stock, in the, in the market, so I am, I kinda like, <laughs> registered into one, one something, something, so maybe I learn how to trade and invest because the, the the minimum investment is you have to load at least $200 and then you can copy the, I don't know how it's like, I'm just looking at it, okay, I wish I could, I don't know, just trying to learn the, what is happening in the world, trying to fit in, they say, what is, what can you do with a stock, how can you roll your money in the stock market, because you know, in all honesty, I'm kind of interested. It's like, what can I do? What, what, what do I got to lose? Like, seriously, that's what I always say to myself. What are you going to lose, please? When you already have lost everything. <laughs> Just, you know, play it and play it. You know, it is what it is. If you're going to gamble, just gamble. Gamble it out. Just play to win. <coughs> because you never know. Until you... It, it, it's, it's not the monetary value that I'm talking just, you know, I'm talking it in general. If you're going to do something, just give it your best shot and give it all. Don't hold back. Just put it down on the table and let it roll. <laughs> and so far, I am letting it roll all the way. So, that is, that is, this is the result of me letting it roll. I, I let my life roll and roll and just roll it, roll it. So, see where it got me? It got me to Switzerland, no? <laughs> but, you know, it is, it is what I do. Okay, just let's do it. I never hold back. I always give it my 100%. Sometimes, yes, I got broken along the way. It takes a little bit time. Let's not talk about the rehabilitation of my emotions and my... I get, I get broken along the way just like anybody else. I've been broken since I was young, broken since I was growing up. You know how many times I have been broken? A lot. Broken to pieces that you wouldn't even could put together. But you see, I try to fix myself over and over and over, trying to put the broken pieces of myself together. Even though it was so hard. But see where it got me. I stand strong more than ever. You know, as they say, your Lord will not give you too much that you cannot even bear. You know, they said they, maybe it didn't look like much, but look at who, what, where you are now. Look at where it got you. You see? <laughs> just let it roll. Give, give your faith and just <laughs> say, my Lord, it is what it is. <laughs> my life is in your hands. I'll do as you wish. No. What are you going to lose anyway? Like, that is what I ask myself. What are you going to lose? <laughs> but what are you going to gain? I'm not thinking about the game. I just wanted to live a life that my heart is free and 
well. You know that I don't have this burden inside me. That is just what I wanted. But my life. I have too much inside, you know. So they are looking now for the submarine. That what what happened to a submarine? Indonesia? Lose, they are missing a submarine. Where did it go? It's so cute. It's so cute, the submarine, but it's gone. Where did it go? The Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I like these things, you know. Like, these are very interesting to me. Like, engineering. This is, wow. This is my brother's um, course. This is what he studied. I wanted to be a lawyer <laughs> or a banker because I was always making money. When I was young, I was tracing money and this was my hobby and always in the telephone. I have all the, 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 the toys that a child can ever have. That's why I, mother, thank you very much for, for everything really. <laughs> I miss you. I don't know much of a family, but there are two ones that really cared for me. That was my mom and my brother. And those are the only two people that really made an, made an impact in my life. No. Other countries have also joined in to help the search and rescue efforts. Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, and India have all sent ships. Well, the United States is where did it go? Indonesian military AFP. So, missing submarine, multiple nations helping Indonesia search for the SOP. Okay, so there's like Australia, Malaysia, India, Singapore have sent the blah, 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 blah resources to the area. Where did it go? Where did they last see it? Come on, where is the navigational system, the radar, what the fuck? It couldn't just fucking be gone out of nowhere, right? How do you lose a submarine? How? It couldn't just vanish out of nowhere. Come on, who swallowed the submarine? <laughs> okay, type 209 class diesel powered made in Germany by HDW in 1977, entered service in Indonesia Navy in 1981, two year refit completed in 2012, Navy maximum dive depth of 500 meters. So what's happening now? How do you lose a so fucking submarine man? <laughs> Wait, this is interesting. I'm interesting. How they lost the submarine? Where did it go? <laughs> Was it hijack? Where did the rider go? Where is the thing that connects you to the thing? There is always something to the thing that connects you to the thing. When, when, when did they last hear the submarine? Did they call for Mayday? Mayday? It's not a plane. It's how do they contact the, the operator? How can you not locate a fucking submerged submarine? It didn't, it did it, it went out of electricity? Huh? Did it just sunk out of nowhere and lost its signal and just. It, yeah, it could have like been like that. But why? How? Oh, so 
I think the electricity failure or something like that, if there is no signal, there's no electricity, how can they send something for SOA? Maybe send, open the bulb and send a fucking floater going up to submerge or to something go up. Like seriously, okay. There are, oh, what do I know? <laughs> with strong magnetic <coughs> Less than five hours of oxygen left. So the submarine, if not located immediately, will only have five hours left. Boom. Fuck. Fuck. Key challenge is to detect submarine as soon as possible. Mm. Fuck, that is a scary man. It's like a fucking movie, you know, like, oh. I am scared for these people who are submerged now. Stairs. So at a depth of more than 600 meters, and at this point, 600 meters. is it? There are many, many rescuers finding that the last submarine, they really have magnetic, yes, the magnet, they have to find the magnetic force because the submarine is metal, so they have to find this, like, you know, when you're looking for a metal detector, so I don't know how it works. But I think they have it invented already. So they will find this magnetic ship under the water. So if the ding a ding will see, like in the logging, they can have this apparatus where they can see that there is a log. They see this. So they will send a diver there with the oxygen. But I'm talking about this show that I always watch, you know, the loggers from the waters and whatnot. So anyway. That is the way that they can find the lost submarine by magnetic field force that they have to locate the ship under the water. I don't know how. And then if the magnet say that, yeah, ding, 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 then that is where the submarine is. It's hypothetical. It's in my head. Because submarine is metal, magnet, metal, they, nah, 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 nah. Mm. But they have to make it fast because it's only five hours till go. And all the people in that submarine is goner. Uh -huh. But what are they doing in the submarine? But, uh, you know, we all already know that there are submarines underneath us always. And over two, you know. So, what time now? Four o'clock. Is it? Yeah, four o'clock. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, in 10, uh, in 10 o'clock my time, if the submarine wouldn't be found, they lost oxygen. So 10 p.m. will. It's like, chances are, it's like needle in a haystack. Ew, that is hard. Imagine the families that are already panicking and... Because we all know that it's like you're in space or in a, inside a, a closed, like a plane, you know, there's no air coming in. You are breathing with this oxygen. When you're in a plane, you're breathing the oxygen. Air. 
that is pretty scary. You know, they have to really be really very advanced in technology because five hours is not enough to fight a fucking needle in a haystack. What I'm trying to say is the, the Pacific Ocean or wherever which ocean this submarine is submerged. It could be somewhere, anywhere. So they have to coordinate where this submarine is going because this submarine, but the thing is, maybe they won't say because of the con con confidential confidentiality of the mission of the submarine because what where where were you going so this couldn't just be lost huh. my NCIS mind is cracking the fucking shit for them because I am a submarine captain okay I have my orders I have my mission in fact where I am supposed to go what I am supposed to do what I am supposed the information that I have to gather going back to my superior whatever whoever that fucking moron is. I have to report back. So, we have coordination with the the other person along the end of the submarine. You know, the operator, the, the, the control system. So, if this fucking submarine is missing, where is the location the last time this has been... They, can, they are supposed to provide Every hour, every minute, this submarine is going because it is traced. I mean, seriously, people, do you think how stupid can you be? You cannot trace your own submarine. Uh, I mean, sorry. I mean, because even my 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 daddy, he drives a fucking crane, right? Do you think that this crane is not supported by the other, so they can track where this bloody fucking shit is going? Uh, that's why they have a disposition so they can track their, their trucks. Maybe there is just wanking in the middle of somewhere, in the middle of nowhere. Not doing their job. That's the reason they have a tracker. So the submarine... <laughs> so get the fucking info from the fucking... Uh, what do you call this? I'm not so good in, in the, the right... The control. You know, the, the, the data. You can see the data for where is this. You can even see where is the submarine. And when the last, it loses its data. But then, of course, it can be doctored. Mm. It can be deleted, of course. Mm. So, good luck. Meaning, if the submarine is not found, in my personal opinion, I could be wrong. If this is just my hypothetical theory, they let you go. They could have provided every information that the rescuers, but because it's very sensitive, they already, the data is already, I don't know, the data probably have been gathered, they don't, you know, things can happen according to how the mission would be, the turnover of the mission, if it's a confidential mission, the submarine is better lost somewhere. Because maybe it is not where it's supposed to be. This is, I don't know. I'm just using my my analytical knowledge which regards to 10 years, 20 years of watching NCIS. 20 years. So you have to, come on now. You know, you got your knowledge by what you're watching every day in your life when you have nothing to do but watch and learn. So, do you think? I don't know what how they think and how they solve problems. Come on now. So, finding this fucking nonsense is not really like a fucking haystack in a needle because there are trace, there are trackers. Trace them where they last seen. It's not, it's very unusual that you didn't see where it was going. It was like, it was fucking, you can even print it, man. Well, how old is this bloody fucking submarine? Even though it's fucking old as fuck, they can update the, 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 come on now, man. How hard it is to put an updated system in a fucking old tanker. It's not that complicated. You just have to, oh, come on now. You can ask Elon Musk. It's not that hard. If you have the technology and the people to do it, you know. Hmm. This is just like smaller, you know, version of the, you know, they are the, the, 
you know, that this is the big face and the, the twigs, you know, to do the job for them. The smaller versions. To do their nonsense for them. I know how the world works, but a little bit I know. So, five hours from now. I couldn't believe that if this submarine is not going to be found in five hours, it's, it should have been found by now, like right, right now. Oh, so this is Becky Anderson. So the other girl is not... I am confused. Yeah, but... Huh. So, I have to go because I have to change Damien Poop box. Huh. We have to clean the house. Clean your cookie box. He was hit by a missile while, while they were playing football. One of his friends is dead. One is here, critical condition. And then he was shouting, um, I cannot breathe, I cannot breathe. And it was just like he was in excruciating pain. And now he's in the hospital. And this is because of Yemen's civil war. An ophthalmologist by training. He says he has no words to describe the suffering. No choice. Oh my. Keep trying to help and hope that the fighting will end. <sighs> Which one thing can one? But this is a time to come. Who doesn't want this war to end? But it's not going to end. Come on. <laughs> you know? When you when you manufacturing weapons of arms yearly, betting every way come on. You know? How can you end a war when all of this Weapons manufacturer is on trade. <laughs> Come on now. Who are we kidding here? Oh, I have to shut up now. But you no, know, seriously. Can't you say this? War. End the war. Come on. Easier said than done when you traders of the warm weapons are already having their bid. Come on. <laughs> this is an. an and why is this happening like yearly and something? Well, it, it means that the one that they are been manufacturing every year is already been used. Mm. Come on now. Don't, don't make me spit this out for you. You have to do your research to, you know, do the math as I always say. And I always say I'm not even good at math, but I'm doing the math. But look. <laughs> The person that is really, really, but it's not really my best subject. I'm like, ah, oh, numbers, well, and I'm the one who's doing the bad, and it not, doesn't look good at my, I'm really not good at it, but what in my personal, analytical, theoretical nonsense, it, the numbers is not ad catching up, it's not adding up, and it doesn't look good, period. And I'm not even good at math, but I can see what's wrong with the equation. Fucking shit. If me, that is not really fucking genius in which regards to this subject. Mathematics, do the math. Can see the fucking big problem. How much more are you that they are fucking geniuses of the world? Couldn't see what's wrong with this shit. Fuck that. <coughs> 
But I think you do. You just don't know what to do. You know, what can you do? Nothing. Nada. Nothing. But I know someone who already done something and, you know, he really deserves that Nobel Prize. He, he was a genius. It's a good way of, you know, protest. The, 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 the way he did it was flawless. Super flawless. He did, he, the timing was on point. You know, I hope I couldn't even, I, I'm, I'm trying not to believe it, you know, but I think I'm trying to believe it because it was just super executed flawless. I know you wouldn't can comprehend what I'm talking right now, but <coughs> he's a Nobel Prize. <coughs> Television. How much more if you are in that place and you hear it in your own fucking bloody fucking ears? Do you see what kind of terror it may bring to a person just to witness this monstrosity? Oh shit! They were attacked, they were attacked. I want you to see this. Oh, this guy. They, they, you see? Now he was like <laughs> reporting the news and I wanted to do this, to do this job because I have got nothing more important else to do. <laughs> I'm a suicidal maniac. Look at it, look at it, man. Wow, what kind of life is this for these people? I am like, what is this? Is this even a home? Underneath the, 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 what is this, a burrow? It's like a burrow. Underneath the ground, there is a hole, and people stay there. I'm looking at it, okay? I'm watching it. That situation in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. You have a borrow. What is this? Uh, what is this? Just for you to hide underneath the ground. And this is desert, okay? In Yemen. And I'm looking at it. It was, where do you get your water? Where do you get your food? And you are being bombed. Imagine these kids, they're just running here and there and they just... They are broken already and they're very young state of mind. How can you repair this? This is... I know because I've been there. You know, these are the things that a young child are... You're supposed to shelter this young... It's going for life. You know, it's going to score you. One way or the other. It's like your life experiences. The terror that you have suffered in the hands of other people. I can't sympathize with them. I, I Probably the intensity is different. Because, but I know how it is feels. Being terrorized inside you, being scared to death, and you hear it, you see be, people being blown. Young boys and girls, you know, they don't have anything to eat. Wow. It would 
breaks my heart really you know watching this and I'm like an spectator of the show so people they just watch this and it's like an entertainment me not it used to be like it didn't I didn't really you know because I know that this is just one side of the story there is three sides of the story this is what they are showing here their side and what is really happening you know and all over around the people in the world you know we are just watching to what's happening to them it's like how can we just sit down here sit back and relax let's watch tv it's like it's an entertainment <laughs> and then we watch it in the films but what was made in films you can also see it live part of it and just look at it like nothing is wrong nothing's happening yeah, it's their life so what <laughs> i cannot just i don't know i have to react in a different way in a like you see this every day but what are we just watching it's like we already know that someone's going to be killed and we see it like we hear it i hear it but when we not think we, what is that it's like a person your neighbor calling for help that is our neighbor that is it might be in the other side of the world but are they crying for help and what are what am i doing here just looking at them and talking to talking to you like hey it's like a neighbor from the other if she could be in trouble she could be in danger or whatever it is but if some neighbors here that she's crying for help <laughs> don't you see them crying for help when you're watching the television don't you see these people It's happening to them, them day in and day out, night in and night out. And we are here watching it our nice sofa with our glass of wine and brandy. Like this, what's happening live is just an entertainment to us. I mean, I feel bad that I cannot do anything. So I feel bad that why why did this have to happen to to a lot of people to to this what have they done to this service i question you know because honestly i don't want to be in their shoes right now you know we we sit comfortably here in our chairs because we are not wearing their shoes so it's like who cares i don't care <laughs> Why not? You're lucky that you are not the one who's being terrorized or not having a food to eat or you're, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I am watching you. <laughs> all blah, 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 blah. You're all talk but no work. If you're really wanting to help, you wouldn't do this. You would have stopped the war and manufacturing all these weapons of arms that is killing these people. I don't know what is is it is it is it how it's supposed to be done? Do we really have to do this to one another? I don't. Why are you not being so emotionally broken by this? Why I am? Why are you not being affected emotionally by what you see, what I am? How can you not feel me? You know, how can you not? At least. How can you just be so cool, cold? Oh, 
Putin um, from Japan, uh, Biden from Brazil, from United States. They are having a conference in the webcam. They were in the boxes, in the television. So they're talking about climate change now. So this girl, um, Jessica Anderson, is talking to this via Skype to this other girl from Santiago, Chile. Nothing. It was uh, have the tools. You hear that, people? Now we have the tools to ruin the world figuratively and <laughs> and uh, what they call this? They, we have the tools. So show me what kind of tool is this? Is this the tool to ruin the world? Because basically, I don't see any change. It's just worsening by the minute man. I mean, yeah, everything is for its grubs. I don't know. The world will explode with this kind of mentality, man. With what we are doing to it, it will disintegrate itself, probably. We don't have to ruin it for ourselves. It will ruin, the world will ruin it <laughs> alone for us. It will do it again already for, you know, just fucking just blow us out. The world will collapse itself if Mother Nature cannot take it anymore. Tornadoes will arise, the water, the tsunami, the everything, these sinkholes, they will eat us alive. The world, the climate will change, the ice will melt, Mother Nature will just... The forces of nature point being is very strong. <laughs> And the, the flood, <laughs> you see it's happening already, you know. How can we not believe in it when we see it at end? You know, aside from the pandemic, there is the natural calamity. So I am hungry now, I have to clean my house, I have to go. I'm tired and I am really hungry now. What will I eat? No. Fighting. It is a. Uh, I see many, many. Oh, I have something. I want to taste this one. It's an icy Wait. Ah, man. So I wanted to snack, so let me snack. I have this micro classic um, profiteroles. So yes, how do you open this here? Yes, Unix. They also want to eat. Come, come. so hard to open. So there you go. And how do you open this? <laughs> I am really blind, huh? Okay. Do you have to open? What is Why cannot I read it? So, yeah. I have to cook it. 
<laughs> I cannot read it. Wait, it's like, okay, the, the German nonsense. 30 to 40 minutes by simmer temperature. Ah, okay. You have to leave it 30, okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, it's <laughs> because I thought it was like ready to eat like the the other desserts that I used to buy like the something the cakes ice cream cake so I kind of bite it and it was like hard as a rock <laughs> in April Fools wait a minute fucking shit man <laughs> uh, it says. Sutatin, so it is like a sutat. It's the ingredient. We don't. I don't need to know now. Uh, what is this? Auf tai, auf tau and laitu. So gewunste ansal mini windis aus der verpackung. So you have to take it out in the package. Nemen und 30 to 40 minutes by simmer temperature auf tau and lassen. So when you wanted to eat this veggie motherfucker. You have to take it out first, and you can sprinkle it actually with confectioner sugar because I see it in the picture, or like a cream like this. That's how you can eat and add more of something. But you have to take it out first, and how much you want it to eat, <laughs> leave it out for 30 to 40 minutes. Not what I did, <laughs> because it really <laughs> I think you saw what I did, right? I was like, it's supposed to be soft. We, but since it's frozen, we have to leave it in the room temperature, okay? So I was April fooled by my own nonsense. So let it let us eat a uh, mocha something. Uh, it has two grams weight. <laughs> I don't care about how much fat I have in my yogurt. Just but it give me a good yogurt. But if it's not sweet, I will add a little bit of sugar. I don't have honey because I don't buy honey. I the bee had protested. I only like maple syrup. I don't have money to buy maple syrup. So, let's eat a little bit. That was funny. It was really funny. So, I put out three. I can eat it in an hour. It will be ready in an hour. Bloody shit. Money. That was funny. I was like, probably the, by you, the people that will watch this, more or less, someone will. No, don't eat it yet, please. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> I told you I'm a little bit nonsense. So. I want chips. I mean, what?
Commission said that while it's the alarming the state of emergency, the only thing to hang on to the and those of the rest of the world, here is what he said. So, <coughs> let's, let's see. Come. I have a tip here. I have more. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, if this I can share. I have one of these. <laughs> and I have this too. <laughs> you, you know, let's see. I can share, you know. I'm nothing but a generous side. I like it when I smell <laughs> So what's happening now? Um, to impose the state of emergency three months before Olympics. Oh man. Imagine the things that are happening with the Olympics and all of this. And Olympics only happens every four years. So it's like everything, the plans that you had is on hold. It's fucked. You know? <laughs> I have a trash can over here, so it didn't like it was like one millimeter. <laughs> Thank the Lord for the blessings, for the foodie, for everything, my Lord. Like, thank you, you know. You, I always want to acknowledge my blessings, my life, my health, my peace of mind, ah, peace of mind, peace in my heart, you know. Because with all of the things that happening to my life, I cannot do this alone. I need some strong guidance, some strong. So, okay, owners made bad decision, let's carry on. Yeah, that's what we all need. Have to hope when a fucking billion dollars have been sequestered and I've been, yeah, kind of sucked. From football, English football, oh, this football that we have here is really, really big in Switzerland and all over Europe. It's like hooray football, you know. It's like the name of the game. It's football. It's like uh, where people get crazy.
Messi scores brace as Barga beat Getafe. So, marvelous Messi, more milestones at Barcelona. First to score 25 goals in 12 straight La Liga seasons. Has 30 plus goals all competitions for 13th successive season. Holds La Liga record for most goals and appearances. Has won 33 major trophies with Barcelona. Wow, so Messi is their top player for Barcelona. Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Barcelona, play, play, play. The European Super League. What is a Super League? This is from last night. I just cannot finish this. You know, I like here and here. It's like I have to three times. Too much. It gassy. Drink is not my thing. My daddy bring it to me. He's written annoying at the left time. <laughs> Sometimes very annoying. <laughs> Sometimes very, very sweet and it could go either way. <laughs> Say no to the Super League. They are boycotting the Super League. Why? As fans, we say no to Super League. Um, well, they say they are fans, not customers. Uh -huh. They're not so happy about it. Football for the fans, they say. Exactly. I don't know, it's not for them. It's for the people who own them. The advertising, you know, it's bigger than that. We all know this. You're a diehard fan, yeah? I like yogurt very, very much, but I would prefer it. You know what? I want to have a torch. Put sugar on top of the yogurt first and torch it. Oh, that would be amazing, right? And then you crack it and then you eat it with this caramel on top. I have to buy a cooking torch, a blue torch. You know, I have a lot of ideas. And I was disappointed because I forgot to bake a cake. I wanted to bake a cake for my best friend, but... I want to die now. No. Of course, girl. I figure of speech. I didn't mean it. I am forbidden to say that word ever again. Okay, I have to go to my favorite show now. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, the Goldbergs. Blackish. I also watch them. They're funny. They are so fucking complicated. They, they, they stretch the, the, the issues of being a black person. And it's like, man, come on. But they have a point. But it's like, you know, they... The storyline is a little bit like 
um, what, how can I say this? It is true how it can be so shaded, how they see it as a black person, and even the color of the skin. There is like, why are you not so black? You know, it, it's like, because, you know, you have to watch Blackish, and you will know why I am saying this. I'm a fan. <laughs> I wouldn't watch it if I, if I am. It's so hard to, to, to have a color. I mean, I am a colored person. But why does it have the color? Has, even talking about it, it's like at natural place. It's like I, I have... Um, it's hard. <laughs> I don't want to say the, the wrong words, but you are already do, digging a hole for yourself. What I'm trying to say is, I see it how they presented the, the series. I see it their way. And that, 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 that I haven't seen it before. Because I thought that because the world is different now that everything is accepted, it's, it's not the way what it used to be. I thought, you know, sometimes you are so naive to think about it, place. But because the reality of the situation, color is still exists in this time and generation. And that is one sad but true thing. We, the black Asians, I, mean, I don't even know what color am I. Am I yellow? Am I brown? I think I'm brown, no? Yeah, I think I am brown. I don't belong to the yellow category because I am not a brown white. I am, I think I'm brown, no? I am light brown, so I am dark brown as an Asian. It's complicated. So it's hard when people only see color because the color is... It's not even when you're white, you, you are white. No, if you belong to this part of the world in Europe, your color of the skin is not what you think you are. It's still the country you came from is where the racism begins. You think? That races only consist of the black and white and yellow and purple and brown color and black? You're wrong. It's where your country you were born because this part of the country also is white. But it's not because they are white, they are the same. No, no, no. Oh, you can be more fucking wrong, man. Because I also didn't think about it. Oh, you are white. I think your I see your color is white. Nope. You're wrong, place. My, my color may be white, but... Mm. I love you. Yeah, Do you know that I have found my food section in Migros? I have been walking around it for eight years and I even didn't even manage to just stop and watch. Yeah, because it's kind of like, you know, there had a point in my life that some of the things that I used to afford, I couldn't afford anymore because something happened, you know, sometimes you just stop and just stop what you're doing, you freeze. You freeze time and you just wanted to understand more. You're finding yourself, so so to speak. And then I found it. And I was like, oh, like the angels were singing when I see the food. I like, hallelujah. You know, like, I am still dreaming about that food section now. I mean, I want to try everything in that. Can, I can, no? If I want to, I can. Why not? I don't have to buy everything. I just need to try something. It might be a little bit... I will start with the cheapest until I go up and try everything. And document it that I have eat each and every food in this shelf. That is the goal now. Because I think I can, no? Oh, sorry. Uh, I feel bad now. Sometimes being a super 
sympathetic home and also not so good when I am planning to eat everything in that shelf and then I remember yeah man it's like what the fuck you know my my bucket list or not a bucket list it's not a bucket list but the goal is the plan is to taste everything in that ice shelf the freezer section there were two aisles so my goal was it's I mean, it would take me probably a year to try everything because some of them are not so cheap. But I just wanted to taste everything of, of what is inside the fridge and document it. And I could say, I have tried everything in this shelf. And then I remember the news from earlier. Me trying to complete a fucking food challenge and telling how people how it tastes. Do you see how doesn't, I mean, personal, and then I said, I can, you know, like, if this part of the world would be probably watching me, she would be probably hating me, I mean, it's not that because I can, and I can get the food there, it's because they don't have that thing, that they don't have that luxury, and their life is fucked, and I just wanted to eat something from the shelves. Well, I don't eat much, you know, but I just, in my own little way, I just wanted to at least try those things, those food. If I can share it with you, I would. I don't have problem with that. You know? I would even probably go there myself to give you what I have, but I, I will be dead. <laughs> I mean, I don't can even afford to go there. How can I even afford to go there? I mean, I don't have the means to fly there let alone to bring you food, but if I can, I will, I'm not joking. But maybe if I bring you food and I can fly there, hypothetically speaking, it's like, why are you aiding them, please? I'm not aiding them, I just want to share my food, if I can. You know, hypothetically speaking, that is the dream. That is the real dream of mine. It's not, you know, I just have to stretch my small ambition for myself, that if I can do it, I would, hey, come here, you know, in just for one, I share, you know, a truckload of yogurt. <laughs> mm. I don't have, I mean, if I can probably buy a truckload of, boatload of yogurt, I could probably add a bread to the yogurt too, you know. If I could manage to bring, a, I could manage to go a boatload of yogurt and a bread and fly it there, I could probably add more, no? So, and then they will question me. I just wanted to eat with them. That is my answer. No hidden agenda. If I can, I would. But I cannot, so I'm sorry, you know. I mean, I'm with you there, buddy. I know how it feels to be hungry. Trust me. Trust me. And it doesn't feel good inside. It feels shit. So if I can, you know, my dream was too small. It was my personal satisfaction. But my personal satisfaction would be, the dream is, the fantasy-wise is, to the people that is starving wherever part of the world is, if I can share something with you, sit with you. We don't even need to talk because I know, you know, if you're hungry, you know. I just wanted to share something. If I have, I would. In a heartbeat, I will go there. Maybe they will bomb me. Why are you doing this place? Why are you feeding them when we are killing them? So what? If there, this would be their last meal, then so be it. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Let me go out in peace because I come in peace, not for war, you know. If you're going to kill them anyway, at least let me feed them. At least. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I will do it. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Regardless if the government are already aiming above on my helicopter or whatever it is that I go there to fly it to eat the last meal that they will have. I will do it. No question. I'm eating so well. Do we give them a little bit of water? That would I would do if I could have the means.
ceasefire, please. Ceasefire, I would say. Give us a minute here. A moment. If I could do that, I would probably organize it. Hey, wait a minute. Let me, let me go there, you know? Like, a lifeline. It might not much be of a lifeline, but it's a lifeline. Once in their life, they needed even a minute, an hour of their life, they eat in peace. And they were not worrying because I'm there. You know, I said, I, I, this is okay? I just want me to eat with these people. Because after I leave, it's going to be the same with them again. Hypothetical speaking. You know. I don't care. The, the, the United Nations is like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> your problem is not me. I just have a good heart. I would, I would announce a fucking ceasefire. <laughs> Stop. 12 hours. Can I just go there in peace? You know? Maybe they will hostage me. <laughs> They'll never let me go anymore. Fuck that. And then I become a <laughs> My goodness nature. <laughs> nah. But uh, it is what it is. You know. I would. I <laughs> Nobody would <laughs> That is what you get for being so nice. Uh, <laughs> so be it. That's what I will say. <laughs> mm. I'm not afraid to die even if it may sound like, what have you done? Uh, so what? It would be an honor <laughs> that you, you know, because it, it breaks my heart to see people suffering. And if they kill me, then I don't see them suffering anymore because I'm already dead. <laughs> and then thank you very much <laughs> for being my angel of death. Okay, I'm joking, okay, now. Sometimes people take me too serious. But that, that, that dream, that was serious, you know. If I could do it, I would. But how? I cannot. I'm not Elon Musk. I don't have billions in my pocket. I don't have a digital account. <laughs> I don't know what, whatever that means. I don't have a cryptocurrency. Mama May, what is a fucking cryptocurrency? I'm trying to update myself. That's why I signed up into the... This is too much. This is too much food. I'm already full. And I'm planning. I have a profiteroles there. I'm planning to cook some vegetables. I cannot eat anymore. Maybe later. I have a lot of nice things there. Not much, but... I hate myself sometimes for feeling like this. When I talk like this and it feels like, you know, thinking of always of other people, not thinking of herself. Trying to solve a problem that is not hers. Just like Madame Helena Hoher would say, Blaise, his problem is his problem, not yours, not mine, leave it, leave it to him. Your problem is your own. Solve it before you think somebody else's problem. Huh? But I'm not that selfish, you know? Because I know when I wake up in the morning, I already tried solving my own problem. But, I mean, sometimes my problem is a waiting game. So, in the spare time that I am waiting, if I can extend a hand or make at least one person feel good or help, that another person or it, or everyone then you know why not but what I can do is very very limited I don't have I don't have the tools I don't have the money I have the energy yes I have the motivation yes but the tools the money the resources that I don't have mm -hmm. So regardless of what, what my intentions or motivations are, when you don't have the okanimuchi, then it's basically just a dream. 
you know, and maybe I have to write into the government of the government and the government to to find donation to send it to them. But the world is already doing it, no? I think they can do it better than me. And sometimes the help that are given to them, it's not really given to them. It's the people that are corrupt are taking it from their mouth, so to speak. I know. I've seen this happen. In my own country, that's what they do. So it's pointless. <laughs> it's going to be for sale, and then they will replace it with nonsense. And I know what they do. They are so bloody fucking corrupt to the core that what they are doing is indespicable. You know? So it's blackish now. I want Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it's my favorite show. I love all of them, they are funny. Mark Bauer, it's very funny. Okay, let's see what So I have to go now, but I'm missing the five of them. So people, 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 Mama has to go now because my tablet is also dying, I can see it. I have to do some things. Maybe Penelope is finished with her nonsense. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so whatever you do, stay alive, huh? stay positive. Don't let them, if a person is being so negative, you don't need that energy, run away. Keep it cool, you know, stay in the downside, stay in the down low. Just humility is the key. Always be humble. Don't think that you are on the top of the world in the reality. You're just a fucking toy. <laughs> you know, you think that you are a, <laughs> you are a big thing because you are on the top of a big thing. You see, the fly is standing on the on a bull. He thinks that he's big because he's on the top of the bull. But but anyway, bye bye now. This place is Tona. Seven seven seven. No master. Bye bye. Ah, yeah.